What's up, you freaking geniuses? So let's talk about polynomials. A polynomial is just a term or a combination of terms that you add and subtract together, okay? So with that in mind, let's make sure you understand what a term is. So a term we can represent by this little equation right here, a times x to the m. So a right here represents your coefficient. So just the whole number, okay? And then x represents your variable, and then m up here represents your exponent. Okay, and we have to make something clear about the exponent right here, okay? Because it can only be a positive integer, so it can only be something like 0, 1, 2, 3, right? All the way to infinity, basically. So it can't be a negative number, and it can't be a fraction or anything like that. Okay, so for example, something like 5x squared, okay? This is a term. It's also a polynomial. Okay, because remember, a polynomial can be just a term by itself or a combination of terms by adding and subtracting them. Okay, so this is a polynomial, right? But more specifically, you would call this a monomial. Monomial. Okay, so monomials are made up of just one term. So since we just have one term right here, it's called a monomial. This is also called a polynomial, but more specifically, it's called a monomial. Okay, and the way you can remember what monomial means is by taking the root word right here, mono, which means single. Okay, so another example of a monomial would be something like negative 3n to the 7th power. Okay, this is also just a single term, so it's also called a monomial. We can call it a polynomial, but it, more specifically, it's called a monomial. So a few more examples of monomials would be something like b squared or just just a number, so like the number seven, or just a variable, like r. So you might be wondering how these three fit our definition of a term that we came up with up here, right? So let's start with b squared. It's obviously missing the coefficient. But whenever there's no coefficient here, you can always assume that there's a one right there, okay? Because b squared is the same thing as one b squared, right? The number one is normally just hidden. So as you can see, we have our coefficient, our variable, and our exponent, okay? But simplified, we can just write that as b squared, right? Now, what about 7? Why is, how does the number 7, or just any number, fit our definition up here? Well, the 7 could be your coefficient, right? But then we can also write something like x to the 0 power. Okay, so now you see we have our variable and our exponent, right? Now, what is x raised to the 0 power? Well, anything raised to the 0 power is just 1. Okay, so then what is 7 times 1? Well, it's just 7. Okay, so we can write our term as 7x to the 0, but simplified, we can just write it as 7. So that's why just a number, whether it's positive or negative, is considered a term. Okay, and then lastly, same thing with just r, right? So r, we could write that as r to the first power, right? And again, whenever you don't see a coefficient here, you can always assume that there's a 1 right there. So here's your coefficient, your variable, and your exponent. So then 1r to the first power, again, you can just simply write that as r. So that's why just a variable, again, fits our definition of a term. Okay, so these are all examples of monomials, okay, all of these. Now, we also have something called binomials. And binomials are a combination of two terms, okay? And you can see the root word right here, bi, so you can think of like bicycle, right? A bicycle has two wheels. Okay, so for example, something like 6m to the fourth plus 10m to the fourth, okay? This right here is a binomial. Again, we can also call this a polynomial, but more specifically, it's called a binomial, okay? Or something like 3a minus 7, or something like n plus n squared, okay? This is a binomial, and this is also a binomial, okay? Because again, it's a combination of two terms by either adding or subtracting them, right? Okay, and the two terms here are 6m to the fourth and 10m to the fourth, okay? Here, the two terms are 3a and negative 7, and then here, the two terms are n and n squared. Now, we also have something called you probably guessed it, a trinomial. And a trinomial is a combination of three terms. And you can see the root word right here, tri. 
So you can think of like tricycle, right? How many wheels does a tricycle have? It has three, right? For example, something like 20s to the fifth minus 36s plus one. Okay, this again would also be called a polynomial, but more specifically, it's called a trinomial because it has exactly three terms. Okay, and those three terms are 20s to the fifth, negative 36s, and positive one right here, okay? Now, what if one of these expressions have more than three terms? Well, that's what you call a polynomial, okay? If it has four or more terms, you just simply call it a polynomial. Okay, so for example, something like negative 69t cubed plus 420 t plus t minus 9. Okay, so you can see we have four terms, right? Negative 69t cubed, positive 420t, positive t, and negative 9. So four terms. So again, whenever you have four or more terms, you simply call it a polynomial. No more special names after that. So five terms, six terms, anything more, just a polynomial. Okay, and to not make this video too long, in the next video, we're going to cover how to write these in standard form and how to find things like their degrees and leading coefficients. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.